Good morning, folks. Hello, family. This is Raymond Extra Profit again coming to you from my apartment bedroom here in Sunny Ocala, Florida. Today is August 19th, Wednesday, 2020 at 5.55 a.m. And this is the word for today, May 5th, 2020, Cinco de Mayo, Part 2. Once again, this is May 5th, 2020. The word for today, Part 2. Let's go ahead and go into the Word of God this morning. The first general entry I have for you. May 4, 2020 at 7.54 p.m. during worship. For God is love. For God is love. 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 10, key verse 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him, and this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us, and sent His Son to be the perpetuation for our sins. Exodus chapter 34, verses 6 and 7. And the Lord passed before Him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generations. Psalm 86, verses 5 and 15. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and abundant in mercy to all, to all those who call upon you. For you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. John chapter 8, verses 54 and 55. Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him, and if I say, I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This is the message which we have heard from him. And declare to you that God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. 1 John chapter 2, verses 4 and 9. He who says, I know Him, and does not keep His commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in Him. He who says He is in the light, and hates His brother, is in darkness until now. 1 John chapter 3, verses 6 and 10. Whoever abides in Him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. In this the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. The next general entry. May 4, 2020, at 7.54 p.m. No one hated his own body. No one hated his own body. Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 28 through 32, key verse 29. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies, for he who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 26. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 17. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 5. The fool folds his hands and consumes his own flesh. 
Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lamb with his arm and carry them in his bosom and gently lead those who are with young. Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 14 through 15 and 27. I will feed them in good pasture, and their fold shall be on the high mountains of Israel. There they shall lie down in a good fold, and feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. Then the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. They shall be safe in their land, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them from the hand of those who enslaved them. Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathered her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. In the external entry, May 4, 2020, 7.56 p.m. I give you my peace, not as the world gives, Jesus. I give you my peace, not as the world gives. This is Jesus speaking. The Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Let not your heart be troubled, then let it be afraid. Numbers, chapter 6, verse 26. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. Job chapter 34 verse 29 When he gives quietness, who then can make trouble? When he hides his face, who then can see him? Whether it is against a nation or a man alone. Psalm 11 verse 1 In the Lord I put my trust. How can he say to my soul, Flee as a bird to your mountain? Psalm 27 verse 1 the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 28, verse 3. Do not take me away with the wicked, and with the wonders of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Psalm 56, verses 3 and 11. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God I have put my trust. I will be not afraid. What can man do to me? Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 17. You have moved my soul far from peace. I have forgotten prosperity. John, chapter 14, verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, I will believe also in me. John, chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John chapter 20, verses 19, 21, and 26. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst, and said to them, Peace be with you. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father sent me, I also send you. And after eight days, the disciples were again inside. And Thomas with them, Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which all she were called in one body, and be thankful. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. An external entry, May 4, 2020, at 7.58 p.m. He created the stars also. He created the stars also. Genesis chapter 1. Verses 14 through 23, key verse 16. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmness of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. 
and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, with which the waters abounded according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19. And take heed, lest you lift your eyes to heaven, and when you see the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the hosts of heaven, you feel driven to worship them and serve them. Wish the Lord, your God has given to all the peoples under the whole heaven as a heritage. Joshua chapter 10, verses 12 through 14. And Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites. But for the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Sun stand still over Gibeon, and moon in the valley of Agilon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped. So the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. And there has not been no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord heeded the voice of, of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Job chapter 31 verse 26 If I observe the sun when it shines, or the moon moving in brightness. Job chapter 38 verse 7 When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Psalm 8 verse 3 When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. Psalm 136, verses 8 and 9. The sun to rule by day, for its mercies endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for its mercy endures forever. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 26. Lift up your eyes on high, and see who has created these things who brings out the host by their number. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of its might, and the strength of its power. Not one is missing. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by Hillsong Worship, King of Kings. The song King of Kings by Hillsong Worship. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below, and also the YouTube video link you see listed here. An next journal entry, May 4, 2020, at 7.58 p.m. Jehovah, the maker and breaker of the universe. Jehovah, the maker and breaker of the universe. Psalm 19, verses 1 through 14, key verse 1. The perfect revelation of the Lord, to the chief physician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament shows his handiwork. Day into day utters speech, and night into night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language, for their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven, and a circuit to the other end. And there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statute of the Lord are right and rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desires are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. 
Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults, keep back your servant from also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me, then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the mediation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Colossians chapter one. Verses 16 through 20, key verses 16 and 17. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father, that in Him all the fullness should dwell, and by Him to reconcile all things to Himself, by Him whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of His cross. Genesis chapter 1, verses 6 through 8, and 14 and 15. And God said to be a permanent in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the permanent and the divided waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so, and God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light on the earth. And it was so. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 39. Therefore know this day, and consider in your heart that the Lord himself is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. There is no other. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. You alone, O Lord, you made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that are in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. First Chronicles Chapter 29, verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Psalm 8, verses 1 and 3. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Who has set your glory above the heavens. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. Psalm 33, verse 6. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Psalm 50, verse 6. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Salah. Psalm 89, verse 5. And the heavens will praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness also in the assembly of the saints. Psalm 97, verse 6. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Psalm 102, verses 25 through 27. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak, you will change them, and they will be changed, but you are the same, and your years will have no end. Psalm 115, verse 16. The heavens, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Psalm 145, verse 10. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. Psalm 150, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord has made all for Himself. Yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 9 through 12 and 21. O Zion, you who bring good tidings, Get up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, 
you who bring good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand, and his arms shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those who are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, measured heaven with a span, and calculated the dust of the earth in a measure, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 Those who are wise shall shine, like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn the many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Thus says the Lord, who gives the sun for a light by day, the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, who disturbs the sea and its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. John chapter 1, verses 3 and 10. All things were made through him, and without him, Nothing was made that was made. He was made, he was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. An external entry, 7.59 p.m. He died for me because he loved me that much. He died for me because he loved me that much. First Samuel, chapter 12, verse 24. Only for the Lord and servant in truth, with all your heart, for consider what great things He has done for you. Psalm 103, verse 13. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pity those who fear Him. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Jeremiah chapter 29. Verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm, um, I'm sorry, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3 The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord your God is in your midst. The Mighty One will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than lay down one's life for his friends. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates His own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. An extra entry I have for you. May 4th, 2020 at 8 p.m. He broke the chains of sin and set the captives free. He broke the chains of sin and set the captives free. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He anointed me to preach the Gospel to the poor. 
He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 13. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you walk upright. Psalm 2, verse 3. Let us break their bonds in pieces, and cast away their cords from us. Psalm 68, verse 6. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Psalm 73, verse 6. Therefore pride serves as their necklace. Violence cover them like a garment. Psalm 107. Verses 10, 13 through 16, key verse 14. Those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them out of their distress, distresses. And He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their chains in pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness, and for His wonderful works to children of men, for he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. Psalm 116, verse 16. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. Psalm 124, verse 7. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Psalm 129, verse 4. The Lord is righteous. He has cut in pieces the cords of the wicked. A final general entry, May 4, 2020 at 8.02 p.m. Jesus tasted death for me. Jesus tasted death for me. The book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 9. You love righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. That's chapter 1, verse 9. Chapter 2, verse 9. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than angels, for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Psalm 21, verses 3 through 5. May he remember all your offerings, and accept your burnt sacrifice. Salah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire, and fulfill all your purpose. For we rejoice in your salvation, and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 28. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. You neither toil nor spin. Matthew chapter 16, verse 28. I surely say to you, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they, are the, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Mark chapter 9, verse 1. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, that there are sons standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Luke chapter 9, verse 27. But I tell you truly, there are sons standing here who shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of God. John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 8, verses 51 and 52. Most assuredly I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Then the Jews said to him, 
now we know that you have a demon, Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And you say, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. John chapter 12, verse 32. And I, if I lift it up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 33. Therefore, being exalted to the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he poured out this which you now see and hear. Acts chapter 3, verse 13. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. Romans chapter 5, verses 8 and 18. That God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Therefore, as though therefore as through one man's offense judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteousness act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. Romans chapter eight, verse thirty two. He who did not spare his own son delivered him up for us all. How shall, not, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. And he died for all, that those who live shall live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Hebrews Chapter 1, verse 9. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 7. You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over the works of your hands. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. Finally, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 3. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is necessary that this one also have something to offer. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by Josh Baldwin, Fountains. The song Fountains by Josh Baldwin. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Day Part 2 for May 5th, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day Part 2. May 5, 2020 for Cinco de Mayo. And love is the law. Today is Wednesday, August 19, 2020, 7 12 a.m. This is Raymond X the Prophet coming to you once again from my apartment bedroom here in Sunny Ocala, Florida. God bless you all as you go about your day today. God loves you and so do I very much. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Very, very soon. Get ready for his return. Judgment is coming. And judgment is already here. There are many judgments that have already went out into the world, and many more are coming. Get ready. This is your day of salvation. This is your day to repent. This is your redeeming day, your decision day. Jesus Christ is coming. Get ready for his return. God loves you, and so do I. God bless you all as you go about your day today. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video upload, Lord willing so. Bye bye for now. I love you. Take care.